Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel y'all. It's so good to have you here. I am so happy to have you back. Welcome to your February 15th through the 28th love and general forecast. So um, I do want to go ahead and say thank you for all of my Libras who have been incredibly generous. Those of you who have been super supportive of my channel Thank you for donating, you guys, or supporting through my cash app. And if you are feeling generous, you can go ahead and find those links below. Always grateful for my Libras. So with that being said, um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message, and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. Also, um, this week, you guys, in terms of mediumship readings or video requests, I am not taking them, um, but I will be taking them very soon, okay? So hang tight, and I am closing out my Reiki healing giveaway session, so please be a part of that. Um, also, let's see what else I'm missing. Please join us on uh, my Instagram. I do have a small but growing very beautiful growing community there. I do have pick a card readings. I have testimonials, reviews. I also have a bunch of, you know, spiritual tips. I will be doing a spiritual tip very soon. I'm going to be posting something very special for us. So be a part of it, Libra. Yes. So let's go ahead and get some general energies around your love life. Yeah. Welcome to Pisces season. So let's see. What's feeling good already? Okay, so Libra, I am having a vision of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy around, um, okay, the air element is incredibly prominent here, okay? So the air element representing communication, your spiritual connection to the divine, there's a very divine energy here. Some of you guys are feeling clouded, like I'm having a vision of clouds blocking your third eye or they're kind of blocking your eyes. So this is going to be a month of clarity, of becoming more clear on what it is that you want. But this, what have you guys been going through, you guys? I'm getting some uncertainty around, around love. I want you guys to be careful. Some of you, I am feeling maybe there's some black magic involved or there's some kind of, uh, you know, some spiritual stuff going on here. Maybe if you're dealing with somebody who is incredibly, um, they're upset about a recent breakup, someone here is manipulating the situation. So I want you to be very careful because the clouds for me are representative of someone trying to block you from seeing something. If you guys are in a connection with a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this person is trying to, it's like they're trying to overpower this connection, okay? And you want to be careful. Please be careful for people who are trying to take over. <laughs> be aware, be aware. Okay, so here we have abundance. Wait, you guys. Center theme. We have stay committed. Okay. Wow. So some of you guys need to really focus on your personal power, staying committed to who you are, your individual journey. Okay, do not sway. Do not sway from your purpose. We have energy of the ancients. Some of you guys, listen, wow. If you have been dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus, someone here is trying to remove you from course, remove you from your path, okay? Someone here is really trying to kind of remove you from what you know. So be aware of this energy, you guys, because I do feel love <clears throat> can become a little, there's a blurred line here. 
you guys, make sure somebody's being very honest with you as we move into the end of the month, okay? Honesty is key. Yes, peaceful relationships in reverse. Something that you have been wishing for, something that you've wanted, Libra, is not coming um, into fruition because you have something better. And your spirit guides and your ancestors are right here and they're saying, Sometimes you have to wait for the best things in life. The number two is about uh, karmic connections. Let's take a look again. The number two is about, you know, a soulmate connection. Something that's incredibly powerful and beautiful. But you have to see it. Whatever's coming in, it's going to require you to let go of something else. Oof you guys please somebody is out here throwing some shade please be aware of who it is that you're dealing with it's almost like i'm getting if i can't have you i don't want anyone else to have you kind of energy please be aware you do not need this as we move into a new season for you so general energies for libra yes strength and love strength in reverse there's there's something, listen, you guys, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or water. There is someone here. The truth is out. Someone here is not being honest. They're not being honest. And I feel this person, it's like they don't have the strength to commit to the journey with you so be aware of false promises i'm getting kind of like a yeah let's see where it goes and then it doesn't go right so make room for the beauty but if you are not at peace you cannot make room nine of pentacles in reverse oh my goodness you guys I had to close my eyes on that one. Oh, what is going on? Are you not? Listen, Libra, can we get a little bit of a, you guys need some self-love, uh, like a cleanse, like a, a, a bath. Give yourself a rose petal bath. I want you guys to focus on a few things at the end of the month to restore faith and to also restore inner strength to restore your sex appeal because you guys got it going on any day okay but you are not feeling it right now because you are allowing someone to cloud your vision so focus on pink roses clear quartz rose quartz use Himalayan salts and get in the bath and st it's like sit with yourself sit with the beauty of who you are because right now someone is trying you oof this could be a leo as well Mm-hmm. so the nine of pentacles in reverse is about not feeling good about what you bring to the table something needs to change about your self-esteem okay Libra and love. What's happening for you? The 15th through the 28th. We have the Ace of Swords. Clarity. Wisdom. Listen, you guys, I want you to understand there's someone here who has been trying to block you from love or moving on. There's an obsession here and you're like, hello, what? So what's happening is you're becoming more clear Okay, you're becoming more level-headed about the purpose in life, yeah? So y this person is not only just teaching you why you don't want something like this, but you're moving into a more destined connection that's giving you clarity. When I think about the Ace of Swords, you guys, I think about your higher crown chakras, like a lot of soul star energy. You're using more of your intuition in love. I love this. You are saying, I'm not taking no BS. 
Some of you are literally going to have a very beautiful awakening. Some of you, this person has actually awakened your spirituality. So who's coming towards you in love, Libra? So we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Wow. This is a no contact situation for you. Some of you guys are just waiting. It's like you're waiting for something to reveal itself and it will reveal itself. But it's not going to reveal itself in a way that you think. It's going to show you why you are on this journey with this person and why you were meant to disconnect. This person is trying to keep you bound. It's like energetically they're trying to pull you in. So here we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What's coming in for love for you, Libra? The Four of Wands in reverse. Okay. So then we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, Libra. Let's see. Wow. Ooh. So we have the Two of Pentacles. Listen, honey, somebody was caught red-handed here, and now I'm getting a lot of... Can we make this work? I don't think so. I, I want you guys to be careful. There's there's some shady action here. Look at this. Give me a second. I'm channeling you guys. I'm gonna see. Um This person is coming in and there's someone new here. There's two elements. You have an earth or a water sign. The water sign, I feel, is a little more balanced for you. Someone who's teaching you more about yourself. But they're also more loving. There's a decision to be made. This water sign is in and out of your life. They are, I'm getting someone who's either balancing two different people, you and someone else, or they are in a different space, but there's an attraction here. You know what song's coming to mind? That song, Joe, If I Was Your Man, okay? Some of you guys have a water sign who is definitely into you, but they have not expressed it until the end of the month. I'm getting around the 28th, you guys. But you're going to have to make a choice between something you know and something that you don't know of. This is huge. So what is the challenge in love for you, Libra? I feel like a lot of you guys are um, working through some of your wounds around your father. Number one, abandonment with the five of pentacles. Some of you guys have um, a little bit of a distorted connection here around the masculine. And it's showing up how, you know, it's showing up within your relationships. So this could be a fear of taking relationships to the next level. This is a very passive energy. but you're working through it, okay? You're gonna be working through a lot of your own um, transmutation of negativity at the end of the month. And this is what this person sees in you. You see, they're, they're throwing up their hands and they're saying, I came in peace. I just want to love you. You have to let go of what is parasitic, you guys, because you have an opportunity here to start over. Okay? But your angels, you know, they're saying...
in order for you to move on and move forward, you have to let something go. There's something that's weighing heavy here. And this person, listen, whoever you're dealing with from the past Libra, they are trying to completely disconnect you from seeing past them. And this is not healthy. I'm getting someone who's doing some work on you. So please be aware. So what's your advice? I would say, what's your challenge in love? Besides the five of pentacles, you guys may not feel really um, comfortable with letting people in. And this is what's blocking. The fives are about inner conflict. So what are you conflicted about, Libra? What is that, right? We have the page of pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys are just not ready or this person's not going to be. They may be a beautiful influence. I'm getting a very Neptunian energy, so Piscean influence. There's a beautiful influence, but you guys are not letting yourselves receive. What's the issue with reciprocity here? It's like you don't want to give a love from a place of vulnerability or I have to just say it. Yeah. Are you guys letting love in? This person is coming in with their hands up. Look at this queen of cups here. Okay, this could be a masculine too. It doesn't matter. Gender neutral. They're coming in with their hands up. They're really, you know, it's almost like they're they're saying, "Look, I I came I came here with good intention." The challenge is a lot of you guys are not allowing something to grow. There's an imbalance. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with giving. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with taking, or I should say receiving. This is the challenge, moving past the shadow of, am I worthy? Am I worthy of love? Yes. Yes, you are. So let's close it out and see. So what is your advice? Okay, Libra, find balance, my loves. Find balance. Okay, temperance. I love temperance. Temperance is about shifting the energies of duality here. Some of you guys are, um, this is going to take time. Please don't be hard on yourselves, okay? Listen, it's not perfect. This is, this is, this is it, Libra. Take a look. I want you guys to tune in. Are you with me here? Listen, I love you guys. This is why I'm getting real... Oof, Oprah Winfrey on you here, okay? Oprah in the house. Listen, you guys are not seeing the beauty of who, of who you are. Let love in. It's like you've become so accustomed to pain that you're blocking your heart. Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let love in. Okay. Balance those scales. I love you. Bye.